Hello there ladies and gents, it's Connor and today I'm going to be giving you a little video on an update for a custom adventure map that I was doing quite a while ago that I got sidetracked and distracted from with other games and IRL stuff but I want to get it back up and underway because I am really interested in the story that I have created and would like to further develop it. So the story is this, you are the son of the captain of the Red Clouds. The Red Clouds were the legendary bodyguards of a kingdom of men, but they fell in hard times, their whole regiment and the entire kingdom in fact was slaughtered by a necromancer. So the story was that the king was near death, he was incredibly old and frail, but he had two sons. One was the idyllic knight, he, he was the perfect knight, honourable, courageous, full of power and strength, and he wanted the best for his people. And this is the, the son that the king was going to choose upon this, and plus he was the eldest, so he had the right, the noble right to take over and succeed his father. And the youngest, the sort of, the best way he can be explained or shown is like Loki in that film, uh, Marvel film Thor. He's manipulative, he's sneaky, crafty, and he's incredibly jealous of his brother and wants nothing more than the throne for his own evil ambition. But he hasn't got the power. No, 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 no. The youngest, or sorry, the eldest son, the one who's honourable and brave and courageous and, uh, you know, the perfect warrior. He is the captain and the leader of the Red Clouds. Well, not captain, he's the overall leader of the Red Clouds, the royal body bodyguard. That's his retinue and his unit in battle. And he's best friends with the captains of the Red Cloud, who in this story is your father. So, uh, near, near the king's death, the youngest son starts to get worried and incredibly stressed out. So he makes a pact with a necromancer an incredibly famous necromancer who's not famous for being famous, he's sort of infamous. He's famous for not the right reasons, but no one can ever find or track him down, and even when somebody does, they die. And he always has an entire legion or horde of his undead warriors with him, and they're all everyone he's slain, but he has just risen from the dead again. So the prince makes, the youngest prince makes a deal with him that the father, the king will have an early de earlier death by not even that much, a couple of months, a few weeks, and that he will become king. And the way he becomes king is that he accuses his brother of treason, he makes and creates evidence which is sort of like slaughtering the townspeople and peasants and stuff and blaming it on the older brother and he and the Red Clouds who do not believe this treachery and have evidence that his younger son are imprisoned with him and to be executed very soon. But the necromancer who made the deal and who has not yet got his payment comes to collect it in the city and upon the prince and the new king saying no you're not getting this, this is mine now. I am all powerful, I am the king of this incredibly powerful kingdom. My armies could destroy your, your undead legions in mere hours or minutes. You would not stand a chance against me. Grabs the uh, prince by like a force choke thing, like a jet, like a Sith, and just goes, no, no, you're not, my child or whatever, and we're starting to get a little bit weird, like a Catholic priest. But no, 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 that does not happen. He kills the prince. He raises the prince as his sort of champion, even though the prince is shit. He gives him and empowers him with all these incredible powers, magic abilities, and stuff. And he kills the entire city. He just destroys the entire populace of the kingdom. Raises them all as his army. Now he has an entire empire at his back. Not only has he got the, the legions that he had beforehand. He now has an entire country fighting for him. So he's evil. He's evil character. He's evil dude. You will have to fight him in combat at some point in this campaign. But there's also higher you there if your father's locked up. So, while the whole city is being slaughtered by this necromancer, your father and the older prince, the actual 
sort of, uh, how would you say, uh, picture perfect prints, escapes. But while escaping, you're ambushed. Or, so your father is ambushed and the prince is ambushed. He. The majority of the units die, or your unit dies. The prince himself sacrifices himself for his friend, your father, so he can escape. And although he escapes, he was injured and wounded in combat. So he flees, he recovers slightly, even though the wound is one of those wounds, you know, one of those wounds you get that don't really heal, like Mr. Frodo. <laughs> Mr. Frodo, what a joke. Uh, but he meets a wife in this little fishing village, which is located somewhere in this map. I have already built it, and he has a son. But shortly before the father's death, he lets you know about how things transpired and tells you the secret location of his journal that is buried with his old armor and weapons and stuff like that. So while on your adventure, the first mission you will have will be to go to the mage or the wizard tower. The Red Clouds being the world's best warriors, new magic, archery, swordsmanship, they could use everything hand to hand combat. So what you have to do in this adventure is move from location to location, landmark to landmark, learning all these different abilities. And the first place you're stopping at is the wizard tower. Now this was built for the patch that raised the build height. So it was quite stubby and looks sort of like something you know what. But it will be built higher, I'm going to build it higher. And when you get here, you ha you sort of learn magic and stuff. I'm not going to ruin the story, it's going to be all laid out here. I will do voice acting and audio files for the map itself. And what I want to ask is, if there's anyone out there who knows how to use Minecraft mods, who can build epic shiz, uh, I want you. Yes, I want you. I would like the help. I would really, really appreciate the help. This uh, will be going up on my channel as a, a series. The actual building, that is. And if you want to be on YouTube, even though it's not a, that big a channel, but if you want to just have some fun building a map and developing a story, then send me a private message at my YouTube channel. I read them all. Every message and comment they get, I read them. There is a few rules though. You have to link maybe a screenshot of what you've built or a video, If you, even if you've got the time for a short video, just showcasing what you've built. You have to be over the age of 16. I'm stressing that now. I'm, it might not bother you, but I swear a lot. Even now I'm trying to I'm sort of grabbing my other arm and squeezing the blood and everything is bursting out of my arm now just trying to hold in swearing and profanity. So you have to be over 16. You have to, in the message, link me your name, your first spoken language. If you if you want to type, that's fine, but if you have a make, that's even better. We'll get escape called uh, get going while we're developing this map and they will make videos on how the map is going. We, if the channel gets bigger, I'm hoping it will, then we might have build days and you guys will help me along and help the channel grow. So if you're interested, just as you, I've already said, sorry, as I've already said, send me a, me a message with your age, name, if you've got a mech, Minecraft building experience, if you can use mods, add-ons, third party building, editing systems, programs, uh, software you can see I'm not really that technically minded with all this Minecraft stuff Java is a bit for me to understand but yeah I want to thank you for watching and taking the time to listen to this and I will see you next time bye bye